Hello everyone, this is Madhusudan Raj, your host for today. And I want to discuss this issue of Paytm today. Uh, so we all know that uh, since the time of demonetization in 2016, the Narendra Modi government is busy in digitalizing the economy. Uh, we know that during the time of demonetization, they said that in the beginning, the goal were three of tackling the terrorism, black money and corruption. And the later on, when those goals were not met, Modi government's uh, finance minister, I remember Arun Jaitley said that the goal is to make the whole economy cashless uh, and to make it digital. So the whole effort since 2016 was to make the economy digital and one of the purpose behind making the economy digital and bringing people into the banking system uh, through this programs, failed programs like the Janadhana Yojana, where they opened up bank accounts for those Indians, you know, who do not even have enough money to eat their daily lunch and dinner. So they opened the account for this, you know, Indians for uh, in the effort to bring all these people in the formal system so they can so then the authoritarian totalitarian modi government can keep an eye on everybody's transaction and then you know tax them as much as they want to control them as much as they want to they will not allow anybody to dissent because what will happen is that once there is a cashless economy a digital economy where everybody is transacting through things like banks or paydm digital uh, currency which also RBI has launched the e-rupee the government can basically shut down your bank account and you know uh, deprive you of any kind of transaction you know your livelihood that is the reason why the Modi government was you know is hell-bent on uh, digitalizing the economy and bringing people in the formal system and that was the whole effort and after this you know effort started in 2016 all the so-called financial technological companies fintech companies which are using online transactions and all that like paytm and google pay or bharat pay etc came into existence the problem uh, you know and and remember all these economy all these companies are coming into existence thanks to the rbi's easy money policies of printing so much of rupees and flooding the market with that rupee. So these people are utilizing all this, you know, money that RBI is printing in, you know, making the transaction. Now technology per se, like this financial technologies per se of, of using credit card or debit card or using online, you know, transactions or transferred or UPI, etc. per se are neutral, you know, in fact, if the government is not authoritarian, totalitarian, and the banking system does not depend on the central banks, and suppose we have a commodity gold standard with 100% reserve bank system, then use of all these technologies is not going to be a problem. In fact, they will only facilitate the transactions by reducing the transaction cost. But the problem is this authoritarian, totalitarian Modi government using, misusing the technology to control all of us. So in the aftermath of demonetization, all these technological companies started, financial technological companies started. And Paytm was, you know, one of them. And remember, it was a poster boy of Narendra Modi when he was bragging about this financial technological revolution. I think just today morning I was listening to the former Nobel Prize winner Michael Spence. He was praising the digitalization of the Indian economy by the Indian government. Uh, he doesn't understand uh, the problems with this economy. I think he is having asymmetric information about the problems, about the digital economy of India where recently this Paytm problem is going on. But anyway, and Narendra Modi is uh, using uh, this UPI and everything to brag about himself, you know, in front of the world. But the problem is, what happened is after they created all these, you know, technological, financial technologies companies, the RBI failed to regulate them properly. So, 
so they were warning Paytm and all that that you are not opening accounts using proper KYC norms and nobody knows who is transferring money from here to there. And they were also alleging that the Chinese investors are part of this company and they are also using the data. I don't know for spying or not. So it was a complete failure of RBI basically to regulate all these companies. But that is what will happen when you create when you flood the economy with all this kind of you know uh rupees and then you create all these kind of companies it's always going to be difficult to regulate them now i don't want to talk about that why market can regulate itself very well and we don't need central bankers but you know if you discuss this paytm issue then it shows the failure of the rbi to regulate all these companies in the first place and now, what is happening is that since uh, I, I'm hearing since last few months, you know, that all these uh, non-banking financial companies also and these fintech companies also, uh, these people are creating a lot of credit money into the economy, which is, you know, kind of creating a lot of inflation. Because remember, when RBI prints the base money, all these commercial banks and all these uh, non-banking financial companies as well as the you know paytm and other such companies who have banking licenses they pyramid all this primary money on you know all these loans on the primary money that the rbi is giving to them and that is increasing the money supply in the economy and that's why the prices of everything are going through the roof because the one of the chief effects of inflation is rising prices of everything uh, rising prices of everything itself is not inflation it is just an effect of inflation the cause of inflation inflation is increase in the supply of money and credit for which the central bank rbi is solely responsible so rbi created these problems and then they fail to properly regulate this you know companies and you know now when the elections are approaching i'm sure they know that the problem of non-performing asset is rising and they don't know where the money is going and where it is coming who is transacting what and in a hustle bustle to avoid any kind of banking collapse any kind of problem they have just cracked down on paytm and asked them to shut down their businesses uh carry on whatever customers they have whatever money is in the pipeline but after march 10 or 15 they they will not be allowed to continue their this business Remember, you know, and when RBI and these kind of governmental organizations, uh, they do this kind of thing, it's obviously going to hurt the people so much who depend, who started using all these services. I remember all these small sellers and merchants are using Paytm for digital transactions instead of using the cash. Now, they all are in trouble. They don't know what they're going to do. What is going to happen is, and it's a good thing, this is just going to you know, remove the trust of people from all these companies and the banking system. After demonetization, the trust was already very low. And even after this so-called uh, digital revolution, financial technological companies, people were using a lot of cash, but the use of cash will only increase now, which is a good thing because I always advise people to transact in cash because you control what you're spending not only that the government will not be able to track your transaction and for tax purposes or for the purposes of controlling your lives and and that is the reason why i always advise that people should be using cash so that is just going to increase more and more because uh, the modi government i'm sure they must have directed rbi to crack down on these people because they don't want any kind of banking crisis right now or they don't want this inflation to go through the roof right now before they win the election i'm sure once they win the election they will not care because the only reason for which uh, narendra modi exists is political power so at any cost he's going to win political power it doesn't matter to him if this crackdown on paytm is going to you know put so many people who did rely on these services into a lot of trouble and a lot of harassment many people i'm sure are going to lose a lot of money also because there is so much of uncertainty uh all these fintech uh, entrepreneurs have heavily criticized this move of rbi but the rbi has said that they are never going to review their decision their decision is final as we have seen with any totalitarian authoritarian government 
once Narendra Modi says something, it becomes final and there are no reviews, no matter how much people are going to protest about it. But this crackdown only shows that there is uh, the banking system of India is very, very it's, it's a house of cards, basically, and it can collapse at any time. IMF has warned that so much of debt is in the country. The, this borrow and spend culture is ultimately going to bankrupt the government and it's going to bankrupt the corporations and going to bankrupt the individual households also. So in this, you know, hustle bustle, I think RBI has cracked down on the Paytm. And I remember one of the member of parliament, uh, it was uh, this Maharashtra Supriya Sule. She, she also said that Google Pay and Bharat Pay are also like a ticking time bombs and we need to do something about that also. So I will not get too much surprise if in future, near future, they will crack down on these, you know, financial technological companies. Also, maybe they will shut them down or bring them under heavy draconian control, which will make them completely unusable for the people. So just to win some votes and just to cover their inefficiencies of regulating the monetary and financial system properly, the government and its central bank RBI has again created so much of problems for the Indian people. Since coming to power, Modi has only created all these problems for the people with his stupid policies of demonetization and botch implementation of GST. And now again, another demonetization of 2000 rupees note. Uh, and now with this crackdown on Paytm and possible crackdown on Google Pay and Bharat Pay and other companies, you cannot rely on all this on, on the government now. The system is completely gone. And Modi government, Modi himself is only interested in keeping his political power no matter what the cost is. He's going to throw everybody under the bus, whether that is Paytm. Because remember, Paytm was a poster child of Narendra Modi. You know, there were posters, you know, with Narendra Modi's, you know, face on Paytm's advertisement and all that. Now he, you know, he used Paytm to brag about digitalization of the economy in front of the world. And his work is done and now he sees Paytm as a possible threat to his political power. Right. And that is a, that is why he I'm sure he instructed RBI to crack down on Paytm and shut it down. Narendra Modi is a sociopath and he is always going to do all these kind of things. So people should be careful. My advice to everybody is always to use cash. Do not depend on the banking system. Do not depend on anything where government can control everything or they can just simply shut down uh, the operations and services without asking you or without giving you fair warning or time, right? Uh, you should never depend on this system create an alternative for yourself use cash keep a lot of cash in your hand you know in a home so when something like this happens you are not deprived of your livelihood anyway i believe uh, i i i needed to discuss this because it is i i see government's hand into that and they're panicking rbi is not in a position to regulate things and they know things can get out of their hands and at the time of you know approaching election they don't know the government doesn't want any kind of problem which will give them the bad name and that is the reason why they have cracked down on paytm and they will possibly crack down on google pay and bharat pay and other financial technological companies also anyway you take care uh, as i always say cash is king and debt is dumb so keep cash in your house uh, invest your money buy purchase gold and silver because that is also it used to be money. It is money. It is a liquid cash. You can just sell it immediately if you want to and, you know, buy whatever you want to buy using gold and silver. So with that final advice, I'm ending my, you know, today's um, analysis and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.